Hello and welcome to video tutorial of Robotics 2013 event Abyss made by Technology Robotics Society. As you can see this is a prototype bot made by us. The problem statement of this event is to build a manually controlled robot which can descend down a rocky surface using ropes to save people in this case rings and escort them to safe zones in our case poles. And the uh, uh, tutorial of this event can be divided into three basic parts. The first is the locomotion on ground, second is picking mechanism by which you have to pick rings and third is the locomotion on ropes. Starting with the locomotion on ground. Locomotion on ground can be done simply and best by a differential drive. As you must be knowing, differential drive can be easily made by using two motors and a caster wheel. For uh, using differential drive, if you want your bot to move in forward direction, you have to move both the motors in forward direction. For a right turn, your right motor should move in forward direction and left motor should move in backward direction. In this case, you will get a zero degree turn. In other case, if you want a normal turn, your right motor should be at halt and left motor should move in, back, uh, in forward direction. So this is how a differential drive works. Now let's begin with the second part of tutorial, the picking mechanism. In this case, we have used a robotic arm which has two degrees of freedom. For two degrees of freedom, we have used two motors. The first can be seen over here and this is the second motor. The combined effort of which would give us two degrees of freedom and rings can be collected very easily. This is the first degree of freedom and the second degree of freedom. The combined effort of which can be used to collect the rings very easily. Now as an event we have to collect multiple rings. When first ring is collected, the, this arm can be uh, raised a bit and the ring will get stored over here. Now when another ring is to be collected and the arm is lowered again, because of such shape of the hook, the ring won't be coming out and uh, by this mechanism multiple, can, multiple rings can be collected very easily. Now I'll be showing you this animated video. As you can see over here, the robot has collected multiple rings and it is going to deposit them on the deposit pole. The robot places the rings on the pole and moves back slowly thereby depositing them. Now let's discuss the third part of the tutorial and the most important one, locomotion on the ropes. As you can see there are two wheels, one of the wheel is motor driven and other wheel is free. Uh, if participants wish they can make the second wheel also motor driven. Uh, participants are free to bring their own ropes and team robotics will be providing a one inch thick rope which can be fitted over here and uh, then bot can move vertically on the rope. Now as, now as uh, a bot needs to stop in between uh, for collecting the rings and it may so happen that the friction between rope and the wheels grip is not sufficient enough to hold it and in, the, in that case bot may start slipping. So additionally we have used a gripper mechanism uh, which can hold the bot and it can be controlled by this lever. In this case it is a cycle brake which has been attached over here. Uh, participants can design their own gripper mechanism also. So this is how a simple mechanism uh, which can traverse on the rope can be made.